In this video, I'm going to show you a walkthrough on how to turn your very own Go Hydro software into a Godlight prospecting machine that's going to be generating you heaps and heaps of appointments, positive reply, and interest from your prospects in your specific industry. This is also a video series on how to generate unlimited leads, so make sure you actually check that out in the description below. And I'm also going to link this video right now. So you need to get the list and you need to upload the list. And to upload the list, I have a video how to do that also. Once you upload the list, we're going to launch a database reactivation campaign, right? So what that essentially means is the database is the list. Reactivation means like we're going to blast them one by one disrupting them like 100 by 100 and then we're going to monetize on the positive reply the goal is to get a positive reply instead of cold call you're just only talking to like more warm interested people does that make sense so i'm going to explain yes. to you like the two workflow that's going to play a huge part to this the first workflow is going to be the one that is more customizable depending on your industry your message and your niche so i'm going to go into it um, the first message, um, we just said, hey, first name, we connected back on LinkedIn. So we connected back on one of our media channel, Facebook or perhaps LinkedIn. Just curious here, are you still in real estate? And without any way, it goes to a second message. So the second one said, I asked because I got 20 to 30 seller inquiry coming in each month. We need a good agent in the area to take on this appraisal. I just email you some sample. Would you want to take a look at that? Would you check your junk and your spam? Now the strategy to this is very clever. I learned this from like one of mentor of mine is that once you message them to check your junk, then they open your first email, your future email will go through easily. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like this is like the golden nugget that I learned, right? Mm. Because like message normally comes through quite easily, it, at least in Australia. In America, message still go into spam. But in Australia, message deliver 99%. Um, once you get mm. them to check their junk and they click on your first email, the rest of the email will come through. Um, right. So instead of spend thousand on how to deliver email better, you could just do it by text, just like what we do. And it go into a, after the second SMS, they go into an email and the email just say, Hey, we pretty much work with agency all across Australia, like hardcore. It's the same script, literally the same script that you send out on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So we help these people get this desire outcome and we're currently looking for agent. And then what we do is that we send them attachment. Guess what this attachment is, right? This attachment, I can't really like open it from, from this perspective, but you know what the attachment is. It's a screenshot mm -hmm. of, um, of the, of the lead, right? It's a screenshot yeah. of the lead. Now, why you need to change this? Because like, first of all, the wording here is in Australia, like you want to change it to America and yeah, I, like, first of all, like just make some checklists here. So I would correct this because like we use this for our lead generation from social and Instagram and all that stuff. So if you like blast it to a list, or people that you just download they don't even know you man so you can't just say like you can't get through like some people just say oh you know some guy from facebook or linkedin they're not even gonna remember what they did on facebook or linkedin right like right. they're not gonna remember but like it will raise a lot of question mark so i would change this headline to a little bit more suitable so you need to ask yourself what is an opener that's more suitable for a newly downloaded listed people right what i say like hey first name is josh here from ohio like from like just make sure that you're not like from a company hey first name is josh from miami just curious are you still in real estate so the reason why you say that is when you say josh from miami they see you as an individual instead of a business does that make sense yeah, I see. Okay. Like even like in in an email trick that will work. So instead of having like a signature, right, you just said send from iPhone. So you want to disguise it as much as possible to be an individual than a business. So mm -hmm. I would change it to something along that line. Like hey, it's Josh from Miami. Hey, it's Josh from Florida. The second message, I would change this word to more of a U.S. based word. Appraisal may not work that much. So you want to to look for it. And then the screenshot is the same, right? So if you, any of you guys is watching this, um, this is what we send in the screenshot. Let me just pause the video. It didn't have your yep. name or someone else's yep. name. So they're very Look, vague ones. That, hey man, even if the one with my name, you can just go to like an editor and blow out my name. It's not that, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. like, this is the screenshot we sent. Like I literally like save hundred of this. So um, it's like just a positive reply from our Go High Level campaign. Now, the question here is that if you're brand new and then you don't have a screenshot because Josh here have a luxury of like being a private student, he literally just like copy and paste a screenshot. There's nothing wrong with that because he can 
once you get the client, you can literally generate that kind of result because he's with us, right? But if you're new, you don't have any coach or mentor, the question is what you're going to do, right? What sort of screenshot you're going to be getting for them? What do you think, Josh? Like, first, let me just ask you. What do you think? If they knew they don't have anything, what sort of screenshot would they send to them? Nothing. Yeah, exactly, like nothing. So basically, this message still works if nothing is there. So if you're new, right, you said we pretty much... Um, I would just skip the whole thing, like we pretty much work with this and that. It's just like we're pretty much looking for an agent in the area who can take on more extra work and just scrape the whole attachment thing and scrape the whole like we work with big agency thing, right? So yeah, that's that's the thing. You will get lower conversion rate, lower reply rate with that sort of message because it's way much more vague and broader and they probably most likely have seen it already. I would this is a mistake I made, Josh. So I would like delete the user signature. If you wanted to disguise mm. it, I don't know. Like it's up to you, man. Like because our signature look pretty good because our signature have our website. Once they click in, they see more testimonial. So if you mm. want to just say it send from my iPhone, it's up to you. It's like knowing what you have on leverage. If you knew you want to be like this guy as much as possible into the individual side. I'm branded, I got like freaking dozen of testimony on my site. I'm okay to like, this is our business. So just make it like really, really suit, suit you. So the beauty thing about this is that what we see, man, is that like after you go through like the two SMS and the email, we'll wait 28 hours, which is like in, a, in, in like over a day. Um, people don't reply, but they reply mostly from this. Like, Josh, are you there? Mm. Like, we got like a fraction of them start to reply. Right. Hey, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm actually like in a meeting. Um, could just call me in five o'clock. That's what I normally get from them, right. you know? Um, and then the mm -hmm. other one just said two question mark, like, bro, all done for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, this is what you're going to send to your list. I'm going to teach you how to do that in the most effective manner. So what that means is that if you have 10,000 people, you don't want to blast 10,000. You want to blast them 100 every two days. That's what I think. That's what I recommend. But if you want to go bulk, you can do 200 every two days. I always recommend doing stuff every two days. So it's like there's a gap. Mm. So yeah, so I'm going to teach you how to actually do that. So once you send to them, the other workflow is m make sure that we monetize on the positive reply. So how that what that means is to set this workflow up. So what that means is that anyone reply from the last campaign, the one that we just went through, right? Anyone that replied from the last campaign and they have an intent positive reply. Now, from my experience, this is sort of hit and miss, man. It's like some people say like, yes, and the system didn't put them through. And some people say no, and they still put them through. I don't know, it's the question mark with high level. And some, some people say definitely or maybe, and then they count that up positive. So like, for example, someone said like, definitely not. That's a positive yeah. reply to the system. So mm -hmm. what you can do, man, is go through the conversation tab. I'll show you how to do that. Go through the conversation tab and make sure that you mark people manually as a person. Yeah. So some, some people say like, yeah, fuck off. That's a positive reply, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so the first thing with the positive reply is you want to put them into an opportunity that is written for you. Like, so, um, I'll show you what that looked like. Um, they go into our opportunity, uh, in the, uh, positive reply stage. I'm sure you know what that is that, but the most important trick is that we'll put them into a manual call. I will also, um, you know, show you what that looked like. So also what a manual call is that once people positive reply, they put them into a list that you can click that you can click on. And then mm. once you click on that call button, the system will just ring them one by one without you have to manually dial in. So it's really taking cold calling to the next level. So first of all, this is mm. not even cold calling in the first place. This is warm call, but you actually automate that warm calling. Right? Yeah. So like showing you, so once they reply, this is the message that go out. Great first name. When is a good time to discuss this further? Would tomorrow 1 p.m. work, right? Now, like that work all the time, they either say yes or no. So the trick to this is to actually like narrow it down to like a yes or no question. Like, so yes or no answer. So instead of like, instead of like what time work well for you, it's like this 1 p.m. work for you. They either say yes or no. Does that make sense? And then it will follow them up so long. You know, the reason why we're doing this is like these people, like the system or you have qualified them as like hot 
are warm. So that's why the follow-up is a lot longer and it's just testimonial, testimonial, testimonial. Like this one, I found my calculator and it has like a link and all that stuff to my um, testimonial. But right? obviously like go ahead and come here and change that. So really mm. like this one, one day reply yes, it's more like about testimonial, like selling testimonial and all that stuff, right? Before we go further, I just wanna show you like what it actually looked like. This is our, our main account. We still have trigger and campaign because like we made it like two years ago, but the campaign is new. Like I made it, like we keep updating our campaign every day in terms of copywriting. The code uh, database is like, 40% like on average and if you're doing a cold email one to three percent is an average standard like we got 40% you know 40x of like what's an average standard do mm -hmm. right uh, every industry standard sorry and our reply that one that I just mentioned 90 like nearly 82% you know we got enough data to actually like this data is sort of enough like with 1k and you know 200 people so our 1k of that 200 going to that right so that is what work that's the data we have i just want to show you what the percentage um, we got on our end right so obviously i would customize these to like yeah. whatever you whatever like all you like or like reply emails that's you to my email that's going from my email stuff like that yeah names all yeah right, so cool. what you can do is you can go to setting and then you can put like what's the obviously come in here change change that name let's change the sender address very that's a good question man you should change the sender address to your sender address actually i should make that a custom field a, a custom value but i should make it like like username user first name and then user email i mean do you want me to change it on my side too Okay, Basically, if you assign them to you, we will just have that. Whoa, hold on. If you're just checking out what the hell GoHilo is as a platform or just an aspiring entrepreneur who start their online business, we made a free course on how to start your very own software business from scratch and land your first 10 clients in a matter of 30 days. And this is the exact same course that we use to help our private coaching students to get results such as this. Make sure you find a link somewhere around this video to actually get access to the free course. Now back to the video. What I do is just I go to like account email, account email and account and like yeah and all that stuff. Use your first name and account email. So make sure you like if you're watching this, you actually go ahead and change that as well. So I don't think you need to change because this is going to be our new snapshot. We'll give it to you. So as long as you have that field field, if you assign it to uh, to you, the system will have that field ready to go. Let's actually work on how to actually trigger the whole thing. So I upload a couple of sample contact. So what you want to do is like, this is all like sample. What you want to do is that you want to be like, select all of them, okay. press on that robot face. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go, okay, proceed. And this, this is very important that you do this right. First of all, like just select the campaign. Remember like the, the R1 yeah. code media channel is the one that, that blasts to them. And it is in SMS, by the way. And you want it to go at trip. Like do not do this. This, this and this is like freaking huge. Right. This means you yeah. blast them all at once. This means like you add to a trip, right? Mm -hmm. And what you do is that you just say, Josh, DR blast. This is why I normally my naming conversion. I just like, have a date like that, twenty three. And then start on is very basic, man. It's just like you know when you want it to start. So like you want to want it to start like tomorrow uh, at two p.m. And then batch mean that what is the segment you want to do it on. Do you know what I mean? Like I normally recommend 100 batch every two day and repeat after two day. That's what I normally recommend you guys do. So what that allows us to do, let's say you have 10,000 lists, that will buy you a lot of day. But if you want more volume, just come back and change this shit, right? Just come back and change it, right? And also you can like skip Sunday and Saturday, what I recommend. And you can like have it run between a certain amount of hour, like between like 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Yeah, that's that's what I normally do. And I just like add to workflow. And then it just goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, then, that, it and then it's like everything start to work, right? I can't I can't do that right now because this yeah, account is not hooked into this is a sample account it's not hooked to an actual phone number right the system will send them but the text wouldn't go through so it's, it's very simple so now one thing you note is that in our action right this is going to happen once they reply they will populate it here in this possible reply section in our snapshot does that make sense yeah right so you have like josh emily emma and all that stuff populate in here and yes. Yes. you the, the thing that i that you do every morning once a campaign launch man come in here and read all of the reply and say like you know because the system is not going to be 100% accurate like we already mentioned right mm. other thing you have to do is i want to show you something which is the the main power thing go to manual action and this 
is gonna get populated as well. Remember, but we have a step. You're gonna get a bunch of lists here. Like you're gonna get like a bunch of name, and those name is what the system thinks is positive reply. Mm. Now, really, you will get hundred people like message you literally every week, right? Yeah. And you just need to like figure yeah, out which one's through. positive, which one negative, because the system is not that perfect. But they are working on it. The last time I checked, they launched an update to it. It is like better than what it used to be. What that mean, man? Let's let pretend like this thing. You have like a bunch of lists in it. What you need to do is you literally just come here and press this. This this button will become green. Okay. Sure. See, and you press start, yeah. and it will ring them. Like no one really teach me how to do this. It really just like follow the prompt. Like you press start, and it just start ringing them one by one, one by one. That was just like save me so much time, bro. Like so much time. And that's how you prospect the god way with high level for beginner no need to do anything the snapshot is there for you you just have to set up a few things that i we already mm -hmm. mentioned so first of all customize the message to you right mm -hmm. and make sure that you change the sender message so it doesn't have our agency name in it but yeah. we actually make it to a custom field now guys make sure that you are actually assign a user basically everyone that get into the first campaign they should get should be like your name and all that stuff